Hi students, in this, in this last video of the test review, I'm going to show you how to design a synthesis for a particular molecule. Uh, so we'll look at all the steps in the synthesis and uh, my thinking in designing this particular molecule. So let's have a look. So the question says, write down a scheme that would allow you to synthesize the following molecule from benzene. You may use any of the reagents you encountered in this molecule. And let's see, and let's study this molecule a bit further. So this molecule has two substituents, a hydroxy substituent and a chlorine substituent. And you'll find that if I look at the uh, directing properties of each because in order to put this on I have to put one group on first and then use that to direct the other group. So my hydroxy group is ortho para directing but my chlorine group is meta directing. Oh, sorry, my chlorine group is also ortho para directing. So both these groups are ortho para directing which leaves me with a problem because I have to now orientate these two groups such that they are meta directing which means I need to use a meta director somewhere in my synthesis. Uh, so I think a little bit further before I start, how can I use a group that is a meta director and then convert it to something else? Now, we learned that we can make a diazonium salt, right? and in making that diazonium salt, we can use certain reagents and convert that to a chloro group or convert it to an OH group. So I can use it for either one, all right? But what I will do first, I'm going to use it to nitrate first because the way I can put this group on is through a nitro group and then reduce it to NH2 and then form the diazonium salt and then replace it. So if I look at the sequence of reactions here, I would say that this nitro group is key in the synthesis because that will be used to direct a group onto uh, another group onto this aromatic ring. So I can convert it to the diazonium salt and make both of these, but which would I choose to convert first? There's no particular reaction that I can use to put a hydroxy group directly onto the aromatic ring. So I'd have to go via this diazonium salt to put a hydroxy group on the aromatic ring anyway. So even if I use a diazonium salt here to make this chloride, I'd have to use another diazonium salt here in order to make this hydroxy group. But I know that a nice easy way of putting a chlorine onto the aromatic ring is using uh, a chlorination reaction, using chlorine and a catalyst. So. My thinking is, let me nitrate. Because this is meta-directing, I can now put a chlorination reaction on there. There's no difficulty in doing this because this is actually quite a good reaction. It's a fast reaction. If I were to alkylate after putting a nitrate group on, then I would run into problems because you can't alkylate with a nitro group on. It's too deactivating, so you can't get a fetal crafts alkylation reaction or acylation reaction occurring if I have a nitro group. So I would choose to first nitrate the reagents that I use is very important. If you leave out reagents, I normally reduce it, your mark by a half or so each time. So I keep all my reagents in. That would give me a nitro group. Once I have the nitro group, I can reduce that nitro group with hydrogen and palladium carbon, the catalyst, and convert that to a aniline group. But if I do this this way here, then I can't now put the chlorine group on. So before I carry out this reduction, I would need to put on the chlorine group first. 
remember that NH2 is also para directed, so I can't go this route. So I have to now chlorinate first. And I can do this because this nitro group is a meta director. I do that with Cl2 and FeCl3. And I can chlorinate the meta position. And only once I chlorinate the meta position, I've got the groups where I want it at meta position. All I need to do now is convert this nitro group to an OH. And as I said, I can now reduce this. the NH2 and then form the diazonium salt using NaNO2. Really important is sodium nitrite NaNO2 not 3 that's sodium nitrate so it's sodium nitrite with HCl done under cold conditions 0 degrees Celsius that would give me my diazonium salt Notice that my bond to nitrogen here is positively charged. And that's because I'm one electron short of this nitrogen. And that's the diazonium salt. And once I get that diazonium salt, I can easily convert that to the hydroxy either by using acid and some heat more specialized reagents like cuprous oxide, CO2O, copper nitrate, and water. And once I use these reagents, any one of these two, I would have achieved my synthesis to put an OH group and a chloro group positioned meta to each other. So this is basically the design to make it. I'll just run through this quickly again. I can't reduce and then make the phenol first because I would run into problems at placing the chloro group on the meta position because both NH2 and OH are both ortho para directors. So at the step where I nitrate it first, although this is a deactivating group, at this stage, I would need to chlorinate just to put the chloro group at the meta position, reduce, and the purpose of reducing here to the NH2 is to form the diazonium salt. And once the, the diazonium salt is formed, to replace this with an OH group using these reagents. So I hope you learned something in this four part series about um, answering questions on aromaticity. Um, I hope that you look at these videos, you look at the test, see where you went wrong, and once you realize where you went wrong, try to fix this up uh, before uh, the next test or the exam so that you may perform a bit better. Read your textbook, um, review your lectures, and I wish you well.